Hey, everybody, hope you're having a great day. I'm so glad I get this time to be with you. I hope that you're learning something this week. Hope that you've been encouraged. Listen, I want to encourage you to do something for me. I'd like for you to share this with your friends and family. I love doing this, and I want to encourage everybody that I can. So if you would share this, it would be a great, great blessing. And listen, if we're being a blessing to you, we'd love to hear from you. You can comment to us. Uh, you can go to our website at CCO th.org and you can message us there just do it right here on the uh, facebook live as this is coming out we're talking this week about growing in the lord i'm going to give you some very very practical things i'm going to speak to you as though you're a brand new believer if we're going to grow in the lord paul said or peter said this grow in grace and in the knowledge of the lord if we're going to grow in the lord then we've got to realize that god has already laid out a pattern already laid out a plan for us to follow that we can become more like him and experience more of his grace working in our lives than you and i could ever imagine so the first thing that I think we have to do is I got to ask you, are you born again? Have you received Jesus as Lord of your life? Well, pastor, I don't even know how to do that. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 10 that it says, if you will confess the Lord Jesus, believe that he died and rose again, the Bible said you can be saved or be born again. For with the heart we believe unto righteousness and with the mouth we make confession unto salvation. See, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Listen, friend, I want to tell you something. You're not a sinner because you do bad things because most of us don't think we do bad stuff so you need to understand we're not lost or we're not needing salvation because we we are all that bad we we have all come short of the glory of God because the first Adam sinned and because he sinned that sin nature is upon all of us and all of us have to be renewed rebirth born again through Jesus by the work of the Holy Spirit that's why the Bible says in Ephesians 2 8 says we are saved by grace through through faith and that not of ourselves it is the gift of God all I need to do is to believe in Jesus then the second thing is to be baptized in water I'm making that public declaration that I am giving my life completely to Jesus and I'm following him what I'm saying is I am burying the old man with Christ and I'm coming alive as a new creation reformed reborn by the spirit of the living God I'm taking on a new identity now I become a new creation I'm going to walk a new walk that's what the Bible says that's where we began so we are brand new in the Lord as a newborn baby is born so innocent so am I and so are you if you give your heart to Jesus so are you when you come to him friend you may not ever done that but right now you can do that just me and you right now there you are in your home or wherever you might be watching me you may be on a park bench uh, somewhere in a park close by maybe sitting in a car waiting upon somebody or in an office I want to tell you right now all you have to do is say Jesus I believe that you died and that you rose again I confess today my need of you I have sinned and come short of you. But I ask you today that you would come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. So Jesus, I receive you today that you died and that you rose again. And I want you and I make you the Lord of my life. Friend, if you've done that, oh my goodness, that's how simple it is. And I pray right now for somebody watching me that you prayed that simple prayer with me. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, you have to believe in your heart. But with your mouth now, you make confession unto salvation. It's so important that you share with somebody that you now made Jesus the Lord of your life. You could do it by messaging me right now in that message area. 
area. You could go to our website. If you're close to somebody there in the house to say, hey, I just made Jesus the Lord of my life. I want to tell you something, friend. If you did, welcome to the family of God. We're on a journey together. We're going to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Jesus and see the greatest days of our lives together.